Hi folks. So we're here today to preach the word of God, to share the word of God today. And the Bible says that God is a God of grace. God is a God of grace. God is a God of love. God is a God of holiness. And God has provided a way out for us. Now we're coming to Christmas and we can sing jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. But do we know the Savior? Do we know Him personally today? Do we have a relationship with Jesus? Are we right with God? Do we know God in our life? Do we know God in our personal life today? Do we, have we met with Jesus? Do we have a personal relationship with Jesus? Do we know Jesus ourselves? Have we met with Christ? We can sing at the Christmas tree. We can pass the presents. But do we know Emmanuel? Emmanuel, God with us. The Savior, God with us. Do we know him? The Bible says the manifold grace of God, that God is a God of grace. And grace is dying for us, shedding his blood for us, giving his life for us, dying on the cross for us when we didn't deserve it. That is the grace of God. And here in 1 Peter, in the word of God, In 1 Peter we read these words, it says, But the God of all grace, who had called us unto eternal glory by Christ Jesus, either that you have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish and strengthen you. Here it says that God is a God of grace, and God wants to pour out His grace on you today. And that grace begins at the cross. That at the cross, Christ died at the cross. He shed his blood. And there he hung on that cross and died for you. The blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. And the grace of God was poured out at Calvary. There when he died, he died for every liar, every thief. Everybody who's ever done anything wrong. He died on that cross for you. And shed his blood for you that you may be forgiven, that you may be cleansed. That's why he died on that cross and hung on that cross. He hung on that cross as your Lord and Savior. That is the grace of God. We did not deserve it. Every one of us is on the way to hell. Hell is a real place. Hell is not imaginary. Jesus said there'll be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Hell is a real place. Heaven is a real place. Heaven and hell. Hell is a real place. Heaven is a real place. Milan, will you just watch that camera? Just... Hell is a real place. Heaven is a real place. And Christ died on that cross for you. He died on that cross to save you, my friend. To give his life for you. Shed his... Amen. He died for you, bro. Yeah. Amen. God bless you. Jay. Christ died, hung on that cross, shed his blood, he's the grace of God, the grace of God, there he hung, and as he hung on that cross, he died taking your punishment, he died on that cross as your saviour. That is the grace of God. And when we come to Christmas, when we put out the presents, when we sing the, the, the carols, and we look at the Christmas tree, remember that he died for you on that cross. Remember that he is the, the reason for it all. He is the center of everything. The Savior who died. The one and only who gave his life and shed his blood. He is the one that died on that cross. And God wants you to find that love and mercy. He wants you to find that peace. But you have to find it by believing in Him, trusting in Him for yourself. You have to find Him yourself before the judgment seat, before the judgment seat of Christ. And then every human being will be judged 
and will be judged and there will be a great judgment and that judgment will be upon what we did with Christ and what we did with our lives did we believe in Christ did we trust in Christ did we have faith in him and Christmas Christmas shall be coming to know Christ coming to know him as Lord and Savior coming to believe in him oh my friends believe the cross the cross has to be back in the hole that Christ died on the, uh, on the cross for you to deliver you from sin and Christ has been pushed out of the hole he's been pushed out of the school he's been pushed out of the university of the college he's been pushed out of politics and now we see sexual moral spiritual political confusion everywhere there is confusion on every hand you want to say anything sir have you got a question okay god bless you there is sexual spiritual confusion everywhere you go we have pushed out christ out of the school we have pushed him out of the college we have pushed him out of the university we have pushed him out and in this place is moral confusion and we need to come back back to the old story the living story when i survey the wondrous cross on which the prince of glory died we have to come back to the son of god who died on a cross for you and me until we come back we are blind until we come back we are fools until we come back we are going nowhere as a nation we are falling fast in free fall into confusion and into oblivion because we pushed out Jesus Christ the Son of God we come at Christmas to say Noel but we don't know him in our hearts we don't know the Son of God in our hearts we don't know Jesus in our hearts but yet we'll sing the carols and we'll dance around the, the Christmas tree but we don't know him in our hearts the tragedy of the hour is that our nation is collapsing our nation is in free fall our nation is in confusion moral confusion political confusion Christ needs to come back in Parliament Christ needs to come back in every direction of our political and moral life we have broken the promise of God we have left what the Queen said she would stand up for. The Queen said in her coronation in the 50s, she said that she would stand up for the Protestant faith. And we have departed from the faith. We are blind. We are lost. We are a broken people. We are a people in free fall. We're a people lost and broken as a nation, broken as a town, broken as a city, broken in our villages, broken in our town councils, broken we are broken people. But Christ can mend us again if we turn back to Christ. Christ can make us well again if we come back to him and return to the Son of God return to him who said come all you come all you who are laden and burdened and i will give you rest take my yoke upon me and learn of me for my yoke is easy and my burden is light there is little time for our nation and you're playing around you'll get drunk at christmas you'll laugh and joke at christmas but you are playing around as a nation you are lost as a nation you are broken as a nation you are broken in your colleges your schools your universities every part of our nation is a broken nation and we are lost we are lost and time is running out time is running out time is running out the clock is running out upon our land 
And one day God will say, enough's enough. And he will judge us as a land. God bless you. Christ is the answer to our nation. Knife crime has gone up in London. Knife crime has gone up everywhere. Why? Because we've messed about with our spiritual heritage. That's why. We've thrown away Christ in our land. We have to wake up, my friends. Wake up while you can and remember that Christ is the Savior. That Christ is the one that died on that cross. Wake up! Hear the cry! Hear the sound of battle! Hear the sound of reformation! Hear the sound of revival! Wake up! Wake up, sleepy nation! Wake up! Wake up from the foul pit that we have fallen as a nation! Wake up! Wake up before it is too late! Wake up in the school, wake up in the colleges, wake up in the universities, wake up in Parliament, wake up! Wake up before it's too late! Awake our nation, awake from the mess that we have fallen into! Awake! Awake and hear the sound and call a battle cry! Come under the banner of Jesus Christ and be a soldier for Christ and serve the Lord and repent and turn away from that which is evil and come under the banner of Christ awake. Throw the alcohol away, throw the drugs away, throw the corruption away, throw the immorality away, throw it all away and come under the banner of Christ. Come under the banner of Jesus. Come under the banner of the Lord. Look at your politicians. They couldn't run a barbecue. Your politicians couldn't run a barbecue. It's time to wake up and smell. The end is nigh. Christ is the answer. Christ is the answer. He is the answer, for in Him is the fullness of the Godhead bodily. In Him is all that we need. God bless you, sir. All that we need is in Him, and you look to your politicians. 
We are to respect them, but they do not know where they are going. Christ knows where we are going. Christ is the one that knows where we are going. All nation come and hear the battle cry of Christ and throw away your political correctness, throw away your nationalism, throw away your uh, pure for Europe, throw it all away, it will not save you. What will save you is Christ crucified. The Son of God who loved you and died on that cross. The Son of God who did, gave his life, shed his blood and crucified for you. He was crucified and broken. Broken on the cross for you. Look at him hanging on a cross with a crown of thorns upon his head. He paid the price for your sin and you think you're sophisticated. You're not sophisticated. You're blind. You're spiritually blind. You're not sophisticated. You're spiritually blind. Flesh gives birth to flesh. Spirit gives birth to spirit. You are blind. And you need your eyes open. Open to the Lord. Open to the blessings of Jesus. Look at what has become of us as a nation. Look at our political life today. Look at our moral decline today. Awake and wake up now. Look at the mess that we are in. Our army is a mess. Our police is a mess. Our town councils and city councils are a mess. Our universities are a mess. Our colleges are a mess. Our, our schools are a mess. They are a mess. Morally, spiritually, politically, intellectually, we are a mess. Because we have left the one and only Jesus Christ. We have lost, we have left him. We have left the Son of God. We've left him. We've left him. And in the vacuum, we've filled it with nonsense. We've filled it with political correctness. We've filled it with all the ideologies that the BBC is pumping out with all its nonsense. As soon as the BBC is closed down, the better. The BBC is an enemy of our land, pumping out its political connect nonsense. We are a mess as a nation. We are a mess. And we can sing our Christmas carols, but our land is collapsing before your very eyes. Look at your politicians and look at what they are doing. They don't know what they are doing. They couldn't run a barbecue. Awake. Awake and believe in the Lord. Believe in Christ, your love, your lover who died for you. Believe in the Savior who loved you and died for you. The Son of God. The Son of God died for you. The Son of God bled on Calvary for you. The Son of God shed His blood for you. And the church is asleep. The church is fiddling while Rome burns. Our bishops and pastors and preachers have abandoned the Word of God. Our theological seminaries are not seminaries. They are cemeteries. We have abandoned the Word of God, even in the church, we're not preaching the cross. Even in the church, we're not preaching the cross of Christ. We're not preaching the old, old story, but ever knew that Christ was crucified for sinners. Support God right now! <laughs>
God is waiting for us to repent. He's calling us to repent. He's not our enemy. He loves us and wants us to come home to Him. It's time to come home to Jesus. It's time to make this Christmas a special Christmas by coming home to Jesus. By making Him your Lord and Savior. By closing with Him right now and saying, Lord, I humble myself and I turn to you, Lord. And I want you, Lord, and I believe in you, Lord, and I trust in you, Lord. Now is the time. Now is the time to get right with God. Now is the time. Now is the time. Now is the time to get right. Get right with the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Believe in the Lord. Have faith in the Lord. Know Him as your Lord and Savior. Not crack cocaine. Not laughing gas. But the Lord Jesus. But the Lord Jesus. Close with the Lord while you can. It's time to get right with Jesus. It's time to close with the Lord and get right with Him. Don't put it off. Hell is real. There is a heaven to find. Make Christmas a true Christmas. Make it a real Christmas by believing in the Lord Himself. By believing in Christ as your Savior. Believe in Him. Trust in Him. Have faith in Him. Hear the cry. Oh, fools! Blind, foolish people, fools, for you will not wake up and hear the cry of God, and hear the cry of God, and hear the battle cry of Christ, that Christ is commanding you to repent and believe in Him. And as fools we dance and fiddle while roll burns, Rome is burning, you know. Britain is burning before your very eyes. And Rome is burning and you're fiddling while Rome burns. You're fiddling while Rome burns. Your banking system will collapse. Everything will collapse. Because you would not Hear the call of Christ your Saviour. The Saviour is here. The Saviour wants you. The Saviour died for you. Hear the call of Christ and believe. And trust Him while you can. Have faith in Him. And believe in Him, my friend. Trust Him as your Saviour. Trust Him as your Lord. Hell is real. Hell is real. Heaven is real. And the way to heaven, and the way to heaven, and the way from hell is Christ the Savior. Christ the Lord. That is the way. That is the way to heaven. That is the way to heaven, my friend. Christ the Savior. Christ the Lord. The blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. The blood was shed. The blood was shed for you. And Christ died. Do not forsake Him, but believe in Him. Have faith in Him. Repent. Turn away and believe in Him. And have faith in Him and trust in Him. And look to Him. The love of God is here. But we are blind with our materialism, blind with our ideologies, we are blind, oh how we are blind, we are lost in a blind generation, blind, a lost generation.